Hello, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use a frequency table to calculate the mean, median, mode and the range of your data. So if you don't know how to calculate those averages just for like a standard list of data, then you can go over to the description on my channel and I've got a video on that. It's only a few minutes long so it's worth watching and then coming back and seeing this. So what even is a frequency table? Well, it's pretty much just a table that allows us to represent a list of our data. So you can see I've got a frequency table here with the information on how many cats people own. And so you can see one column is the number of cats that people own. So it ranges from one cat all the way up to someone having four cats. And the other column over here is the frequency, which literally just means how much or how many of that thing do we have. So for example, we've got three people that have one cat. Okay, so that's how we would interpret this frequency table. And so if I wanted to, I could actually just use this frequency table to write out the list of data. And I would have three people with one cat. So I would have three ones. We've got four people that have two cats. So I would have four twos like this. And we would have two people that have three cats. So two threes. And finally, we would have one person that has four cats. Okay, so that frequency table written as a list of data would look something like that. So how can we use the table to calculate averages? Well, let's start with probably the easiest average, which is the range, okay? And so the range can be calculated by doing the largest data value, subtract the smallest data value. So obviously from the list of data, we can see it's just gonna be four subtract one, but looking at the table, well, what is the highest number of cats that we have using our table? Well, you can see that's four. And what is the smallest? One. So when we're looking at this, we're really only interested in this column representing the number of cats. And so we're going to do four subtract one, which gives us three as our range. But you do need to be careful when you're doing this because your table might not look as nice as mine. You might have a value that looks like this, okay? So you might have an extra row and you might have five cats or whatever your data is representing. And you might have the frequency of it being zero, okay? If that's the case, you don't have any fives in your data because the frequency is zero. So if you were to write out a list of data, it would still look the same as that. And therefore, when we're calculating the range, we're still only doing four subtract one, okay? So you need to be careful of that when you're calculating some of your values. So we'll do the mode next. The mode is pretty easy. That's the most common data value. And you can see from this list, it's obviously gonna be two. So let's look at the table. How can we do that? How can we see which value appears the most often? Well, we wanna look for the one with the highest frequency. So that's the one that appears the most, has the highest amount of entries. So you can see here, the one with the highest frequency is four, and that relates to two cats. So the modal number of cats is gonna be two. Now let's look at the median, and the median is the middle data value when your data is in an ordered list. So let's first see how many pieces of data we have in total, because that will then let us know which one's in the middle, right? So we can find how many pieces of data we've got in total by adding up the frequency column. So three plus four plus two plus one, and if we do that, we'll get a total frequency of 10. So we wanna know what number is gonna be in the middle of 10 pieces of data. And we can find that out by doing 10 plus one and then dividing that by two. And if you do that, we get 11 divided by two, which is 5.5. So the 5.5th data value or the number between five and six, that's your median. And so let's look at the list first. So you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we want the one that's between the five and six data value. So what's between two and two? Well, it's just gonna be two, isn't it? So our median is gonna be two, but how can we find this using the table? Okay, so let's have a look at our table and you can see the frequency of ones is three, which means the first three numbers are in that row. So we've got the numbers one to three in that row. They're all ones and you can see that on our list of data here, one, two, three. The next row is number of cats being two, and the frequency of that is four. So the numbers from four to seven, so four to seven, are all gonna be twos. And if we look at our list of data, where well, we've got the fourth number, fifth, sixth, and seventh number like that. So you can see what I'm doing here. And we want the number that is the 5.5th one in our list. And that's gonna be between the fourth and seventh number so the number of cats in the median is going to be two hopefully that makes sense that's a little tricky to get your head around maybe but hopefully the little diagram i've done or the list i've done there helps so the median is two and finally we want the mean average which is calculated by doing the sum of all the data divided by how many we've got so instantly we've already worked out 
the total number of pieces of data, that's 10, so we could write that here. So now we need to find the total of the data using the table. And to do that, we're gonna add an extra row, okay? A row up here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply the number of cats in this example by the frequency, okay? So if we do that, we're gonna get one times three, which is three. Now the reason this is working is because what we're gonna do is multiply each number of cats by its frequency, and that gives us the sum of that number. So for example, we did one times three and we got three. Well, if we add together these ones, we get three. Let's look at the next row. We've got two cats and the frequency of that is four. And if we multiply that together, we're gonna to get eight. And if you look at our list, if we add together those four twos, we get eight. Okay, so that's where that number is coming from. Next row, we've got three multiplied by two, which is six. And if you look down at our list of data, we've got two threes. And so if you add them together, you get six, which is the same as three times two. And for the final row, we're gonna do four times one, which is four. And in our list, that's just one four, so it's four. And then we're gonna sum, so add together everything that's in this column here. So three plus eight plus six plus four. And if we do that, we're gonna get 21, okay? So the mean is the sum of all our data divided by how many we have. Well, this is the sum of all of our data, so I'm gonna do that column totaled divided by the frequency column totaled, and that gives me 2.1. So there you go. That's how to calculate all of the averages from a frequency table. Hopefully this was useful. If it was, subscribe, uh, like the video, go over to my channel for tons of other tutorials, past papers, and you can look at my TikTok for loads of worked exam questions. That'll be in the description. So thanks for watching.